Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Your Tuesday basic Sorgonomics here. Sorgatron.com is where you find the things. Sign up for the newsletter. I'm not selling you anything, just saying hi. Uh, so anyways, I don't know, that might change. I've learned a lot over PodCamp Pittsburgh. X, doing the hand sign. I, I, I really wanted everybody to do that at the beginning uh, and, uh, and, and didn't catch on. I was very sad about that. Or actually, it was probably for the best. But anyways, uh, so I'm thinking there's a few things I want to talk about. Uh, a lot of things germinating, which means PodCamp Pittsburgh worked for me. And I really hope it did for a lot of you guys out there. Uh, if you did not attend, if you missed it, if you missed part of it, uh, the majority of the sessions are actually currently available. There's live streams over on Google, uh, the, the Google Hangouts and the YouTube live streams are all there on the YouTube account. Uh, so you can dig through those, but we also have timestamps. If you go to the session page over at podcamppittsburgh.com and click on a session, uh, most of them will have videos on those pages and you can just go see it see what it is click on the thing watch the video again some of them are the streams where we have hopefully better uh renditions uh, captures of a lot of those that we'll be rolling out in the coming weeks as well uh but it takes time so uh i definitely uh i was talking about uh, i would definitely recommend check out the keynote from justin kanaki um, not all of it is up you have to go in and look for it on the hangout part but uh chris brogan's talk was uh, kind of mind blowing and really fits in with some stuff that I've been currently transitioning with my own business, uh, which is funny because his business is helping other businesses figure out their business. There you go. Uh, which is another thing I'm kind of, I will probably talk about later in this week. But today I wanted to talk about, uh, we've done this thing where all the organizers, uh, you know, which there's like, I don't know, five of us, I guess, uh, go to the front of the room at the end, end of the entire thing and, and kind of, uh, leave a couple of statements and takeaways and things we hope you got out of the weekend. And, um, I, I kind of got into, cause I remember PodCamp Pittsburgh one, you know, nine PodCamps ago or whatever, uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh one, I was the guy with a wrestling podcast and I was doing it for fun. And I think I had a bit of a hippie mentality We do this for the love of doing it, man, because there's no money in podcasting and there'll never be money in podcasting, man. Why would we do this? Like to the point where there was a monetization talk, uh, the next to last session that spilled over into a breakout extended session. And I remember walking out of there and I'm talking to, a uh, uh, a good friend and 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 and, and co-founder or uh, of of the original podcast Pittsburgh, uh, Justin Kanaki, and I'm just like I don't know I don't like I don't like that discussion. At the time, I did not like that discussion. Now, as I went, <laughs> that changed. Maybe it's me growing up a bit and and kind of seeing how the world works and everything. But and again, I'm not really doing the podcast. This this podcast is not done with a monetization idea in mind. This is initially to better myself to be better on the mic and see if I can carry 10 minutes and by myself and at the time where I was feeling really depressed about how little work I was getting in I had to freaking create something I'm not getting my camera out and filming the world out there as much as I used to and I love to when I was doing unsung and a few other projects but I'm still making stuff and apparently resonating with at least a, a, a number of people right I'm in a mid two digits at least if i i don't know i I really haven't done the stats in like four months so i don't know what that number's been so but you're out there i and you are out there and 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 talking to me and 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 enjoying it and uh and i really really appreciate that you have no idea how much um but i i I came to this conclusion like like, there's a couple people in there there's the people that are there at podcamp pittsburgh chris brogan had a good point says uh notice none of the people sitting in these chairs at podcamp pittsburgh have suits on they're on a different level they're doing a different thing we're trying to figure it out it's all grassroots whether you think so or not if it's probably a little above that you're probably not in the right place anyways um with with the vibe and what's going on there it is very hippy dippy it's the hey we have these tools and let's make something happen let's create guys let's make some stuff did you make some stuff yet hello that's kind of sometimes how it how it goes sometimes uh but 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 that idea why are you making it too and i think that determines when we talk about all these things 
And my thing is is not to be hung up on the, on the technology. Don't be impressed. I don't know. If you saw the other side of this, I don't think you'd be as impressed with my podcast setup. Trust me. And this is uh, 10 years of figuring out what works and doesn't work, right? And still settling for the $30 webcam to do what I'm doing here. And this microphone is some podcaster mic my wife got me. Behringer, I believe, is is a good band, a good brand. It's what I recommend outside of the blue uh, uh, microphones to start you off uh, with the, the blue snowball and the Yeti. Um and I know that is controversial, apparently. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, that's another episode. But why are you doing this? And I think I kind of split it into both sides of, uh, well, I'm doing this because I'm doing a thing. I want to create something or, or I have a business and I wanted to uh, utilize these tools better. Okay, that's one thing. And uh, so you want to monetize. You want to figure that part out. Or I'm creating something and how do I do that to make a living at it, right? There was a lot of talk at that. But I don't want that to dissuade as it did me in the first pod camp just to make something because you love doing it. Wrestling Mayhem Show, I'm going to keep doing regardless. It's that it, it, if I run out of time and have to start cutting shows because I don't have the time to do some of these and i do have to cut weight to do more productive uh and and better and 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 personally pleasing and financially pleasing product projects which you know hopefully happens that'd be a great problem to have uh the wrestling mayhem show is going to be the last one to go uh and it'd be pretty severe for that to happen so i have to throw away all my microphones right um knock on wood uh but but no but that is the passion project yes it's bringing in a couple of bucks literally a couple of bucks but but it's also to me it's the thing that begot all these other opportunities and i think when somebody comes to you and says all right i got this podcast how am i making money from it i'm like well 10 people are listening to you what are you going to do to utilize that you know and it's 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 a long tail kind of thing. I think I'm not on the marketing side of things, but I am, I'm a believer in bu- the building the community aspect of it and that growing into something almost more valuable than how can I make a buck after these people. But that's part of it too and can be a goal. But I think, um, I just again, I just want to, when you get into it, sh- you need to check any of your illusions of grandeur of I'm going to do this thing and I'm going to make money at this uh, and do this, this, and this and become a podcast star or whatever it is. The Great. Please try. But it's also okay if you're like, I just really want to talk about photography. I just really want to talk about crafting. I just want to really talk about being a parent and talk to other people and connect to other people. That are doing that and share my stories and, and bring them back. I, I talked to, uh, I know one person who, who simply wrote about some of her medical issues. I know another one who was inspired over this weekend to start talking about her medical issues and, and, and seeing the one and how so many people came out of the woodwork and, and helped and, and, and shared out of that, I think is just as maybe more important as the I'm doing a blog to try to make some money and quit my day job and uh, get a cool gig somewhere else writing maybe, right? Uh, Which is something that's happened, but understand, that doesn't happen a lot. Um, Also understand, as we're getting into these tools, we're talking about a lot of tools that are almost 10 years old. And everybody has figured out, oh, geez, if iJustine can do it, I can do it. Well, tell you what, a lot of people have looked at an iJustine. A lot of people have looked at a Chris Hardwick. A lot of people have looked at all these YouTube stars, Hannah Hartz, uh, Grace Helwig, and have seen them grow up through the system and become YouTube stars. And you just say, I'm going to be a YouTube star just like them. There's a lot of you out there. And in the cream, really, really, ha- you have to be that much better in order to do that. But there's also opportunities. Maybe there's a chance for you to become a Periscope star. There's a whole other concept of mixing kind of two of them together. But still, but before you even start figuring that stuff out, you need to figure out your motivations. And those have to be very clear. My motivations have changed in 
uh, adapted. They're rooted in one of them, which is just the passion of doing it, regardless if somebody pays me. And if I have to go back to uh, some job because none of this works out and nobody wants to pay me to do any of this stuff, uh, guess what? I'm still going to be in my basement or in a closet or whatever the case is going to be in the near future. Um, and I'm going to have a microphone and I'm going to talk about the stuff that I'm passionate about because I am a podcaster. And it's my passion. And that's the first thing. And then if I see an opportunity, I want to move into that. But it has to be first for me, I'm a podcaster. And now let's get serious and talk about money. But let's do that another day. Basic sorgonomics. Um, if you want to get more discussions like this, uh, please subscribe to, well, one, go to sorgatron.com, S-O-R-G-A-T-R-O-N. Sometimes I realize that's a little hard for people to spell. Uh, and I'm going to try to be a little more mindful of that. But uh, go there. Uh, that's where my blog has turned into a video blog. Most of the time, podcast, blog, whatever. It's my personal blog, but personally, I like talking about professional things. Uh, very much so. And, uh, and, and hopefully it helps you and, and serves some ideas for you guys, too. Um, and I also do a little bit of writing once a week, trying to keep the chops. Maybe if I get better and get more confident, I'll do more. But, uh, but that was the big hang up for me. Right. And, and, and really, I think that's, uh, you, I, you also need to say, I'm going to be a blogger cause I'm supposed to be a blogger. I realized I really can't be a blogger, but I'm okay at doing this. This is easy and more comfortable for me to communicate with you in this way. And that developed the blog into a host of this kind of stuff. So let me know what you think. And especially if you were at PodCamp Pittsburgh, uh, your thoughts, any sessions, any other what are your takeaways? Um, like I say, I want to try to fill four episodes this week with takeaways specifically from PodCamp because uh, um, I think it's worthwhile because I think there was so much and I'm going to continue probably watching sessions that I missed and we'll probably have more that sparks because the conference, the unconference is not over. The unconference is 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 unattached to the physical... <laughs> It's an existential conference about social media and spirituality. No, well, part mm, one part. One part was, yes. Anyways, uh, at Sorgatron on Twitter, you can hit me up on there and tell me what microphone I can be using. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media dot com.